non weird hair. Howdy, friends. How you doing? Um, today is the day for the big announcement. National Geographic is airing a documentary called American Transgender, and uh, they follow two trans folks out in uh, California, and they wanted someone from the East Coast, and it's me. So the documentary is airing two weeks from today, 8 p.m. on Nat Geo TV. Again, it's American Transgender. It's an hour-long documentary. They just wanted to follow some just regular trans folks in their daily lives, kind of what's important to them, family, you know, hobbies, work, stuff like that. And uh, I was lucky enough to get to take part in it. Uh, my family was amazing enough to also participate. Um, huge, huge props to my mother, um, who they interviewed, and my brother, who they interviewed with me. Obviously, my wife, who I love very, very much for, for taking part in this. This has been a huge labor of, of love and also just kind of excitement. They started filming my part uh, back in June of last summer. Uh, so just less than a year ago. One of the things that was really important to me was to not only show who I was, but um, my love of Alabama football is obviously uh, a huge part. Um, my mother is my best friend, so she was obviously a huge part of the documentary as well. During filming, one of the things that I really wanted to do was kind of stick a few little hellos in there um, and so I did that mostly by uh, clothes that I wore specifically t-shirts uh, if you're from the DC area and you've ever heard of John Y John one or two of your t-shirts we did some filming in not sure how many of those are gonna make the cut of the final uh, documentary uh, if you are a youtuber and you've heard of soundly awake Nicole Fodi uh, your trapezoid shirt is one that uh, I, I did wear a couple of times for uh, different interviews. Uh, I also understand that Mike Falzone designed that shirt. Uh, so big ups to those two YouTubers and to John. But yeah, it's, it's going to be just about and how trans folks aren't all that weird. We're actually pretty normal. And in the case of some of us, myself included... We're pretty boring sometimes. For those of you that are watching this and didn't know I was transgender, now you do. And for those of you that have known about this and have been kind of uh, waiting for an announcement of when and where and whatever, because you just knew I was doing something but didn't quite know when, this is it. So um, I'm really hoping that everybody kind of... Uh, uh, tunes in. Uh, I really uh, hope that it turns out as good as I think that it will. Um, and uh, if there's any updates, I will definitely let everyone know. As far as I can find online, there's a couple of video teasers for the other two people that are in it. And then there's also a short description of the documentary that's definitely truncated. It kind of cuts off mid-sentence. Um, I will put uh, the description in the little free bin. One of the reasons why I felt like it was so important to take part in this project was that being somebody who is from the South, uh, raised in a very uh, large Catholic Italian family, it was really important to me um, to show that just because you're from Alabama or because maybe you... Uh, have family that is very religious, that it doesn't mean that your family is automatically going to disown you or kick you out or, you know, hate you or anything like that. Um, not that that does not happen. It does regularly. The violence and the, the isolation that trans people um, go through is just staggering in comparison to the rest of a lot of society. In fact, I think that having said that, I will put a link to a video uh, where Mara Kiesling and Kate Bornstein um, and a couple other people were on a uh, show recently where they showed some stats that were kind of scary. So if we could if even just reach one trans person that feels like if they have uh, family members that maybe don't understand that it's not the end of their world. 
that there are not only families that come amazingly through this beautifully, but also that even if your parents or your family isn't that type, that they don't come through it, there are other people that are around. There are always people that you can reach out to and always people that you can um, connect with that have walked that path. One of the reasons that I really wanted my mom to participate in this was to show parents that might see it that have trans children uh, that are having a tough time to show them that A, you're not alone and um, that uh, B, it, it does uh, usually get better. And I think that one of the things that's interesting and necessary lately is that the It Gets Better campaign has really been focused on uh, kids that have been bullied, particularly from the LGBT community. But I think that it's also important for that message to hit parents that it gets better, both when you're feeling bad for what your child is going through, but also what you're going through. And to kind of say that it's okay if it's hard um, and that it it doesn't mean that you're a bad parent. Um, you know, it just means that it's it's something that needs to be worked on. It was really important to me, not only just to kind of say, here's who I am, um, f because a good portion of people in my life don't know that I'm transgender, at least not because I've explicitly told them. Um, and so it was, it was kind of a big thing for me to just kind of say, all right, here's who I am. And also, I really hope that this does some good. And living in D.C., there has been a horrific spike in the last two years of violence, specifically um, murder. Uh, towards the trans community. That's my plug. I hope you'll all watch it. Nat Geo TV, May 1st, Tuesday night, 8 p.m. It'll come on again at 11. Um, and then the following Tuesday, it will air at 4 p.m. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the project, both before it airs and after you see it. Um, I am always willing to answer any question I get, as long as it's not hateful in nature. I will put all of my information on how to find me below, my Twitter, uh, my Facebook, my Tumblr. If you have a question, either about the project or just about, you know, me in general, feel free to ask. If you're in the D.C. area and you, you know, need someone to talk to, um, let me know. Just find me on Tumblr or somewhere. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people that I can suggest. I am on the coordinating committee of an area social and support group. If you're on Twitter or Tumblr or Facebook or any other social networking, please share this post, retweet it, reblog it, whatever you have to do to get it out there. Not only do I really believe in this project because I think it's a good project, I think that it really could help someone and do a lot of good. So I hope everybody has a good night. Till next time.